design today. So I am going to be going over chapter nine of Alex Shoe's book. And here are my notes for what I was doing off stream. These are, these are for a distributed email service. Uh, I'm going to briefly go over this and then I'm just going to go and, and move these diagrams real quick and then just do some boring, boring studying. So. Uh, we have the distributed email service, so there's so much complicated stuff that goes into emails, and that is like essentially like what this problem is. Like, if this problem is given to you in an interview, it's just like, do you know what emails are? Because you're kind of, you kind of lose if not, because you're probably going to spend like at least ten minutes, twenty minutes in the interview learning about how emails work. Um, yeah. So I. I think as I was going through this, I did the back of envelope estimations pretty good. We're saying that 1 billion people use the, the service. So people are probably getting like what, 1 billion emails every single day. <clears throat> so it's really easy to like conceptualize. Um, you know, that's like a billion queries a day, maybe like 10,000 queries per second or something. You crank it up to like 60,000 if you want depending on how often people are sending and receiving emails. So um, put down those, the availability, the inconsistency, the reliability. You cannot duplicate emails. Emails are like fairly sensitive, right? We don't have just random stuff that just bad stuff that happens. We need something good. And yeah, so these are estimations, right? About a hundred queries per second, which is, I think, a pretty, pretty good amount. So email 101, okay, how does email work? Uh, email, there are maybe like five protocols, probably even more than that, but just out of the popular ones, we have SMTP, which we use for sending, POP, which we use for reading, but then like, it's kind of weird because it only deletes them. The IMAP doesn't delete them. All right, so had to get had to get uh, food to eat, which is really ironic because I just started streaming, so not sure how that's gonna work. Anyways, so uh, second thing, all right, email services. So yeah, there's like these four, right? Uh, one for sending, and then like there's like two for reading. Whereas a client to client, I think this is probably like the best one, SMTP and IMAP, because the client doesn't have to, like they can access it. it doesn't I don't really see any downsides really. HTTPS, which is what we're using for websites. Um, Microsoft Outlook, Gmail, online. Then we've got uh, DNS servers, right? Is how you're finding like mail servers. So I'm talking through that. And then we have att sending attachments. Um, the, uh, this is how like mail servers used to work, which is that like, you just have like this really big, massive, like spanning, like folders of just all sorts of things that they would have. But this was terrible for users because you have like this really big branching tree. It's really slow to query. And right now we're at a billion people who are, have access to the internet and using email. So we need something better. So we enter into distributed mail servers, right? So use SMTP pop, IMAP and the rest for the HTTP uh, clients. And we're going to be having the, the uh, let's see, what is this? Uh, of course, the API that we're going to create, post, get, whatever. But then, like, how are we structuring the database? How is this actually flowing? Right, we're just going to have some web servers. 
some real time servers if people want like real time updates use web sockets for those makes sense instead of luck polling the web sockets are kind of bad because the like not all email clients support them or not all browsers support them but hey who uses who really uses you know like brave or whatever and then we've got our web servers we have probably an s3 bucket here distributed cache we have our search so there'll be something like elastic and we have like this db and the dbs are kind of interesting for this problem because there are not a lot of like email server like databases and emails get crazy so then there's not like any really non-proprietary ones google microsoft or whatever like they all just built their own and then they don't share it with anybody so uh, we go with this metadata probably it's probably gonna have a link to the s3 bucket that was my guess of how that works he doesn't talk about it in the book though but go through here we get the email sending flow right so we send it, it goes through load balancer web servers get some message queues here to decouple and um you know enable for retries you get a lot of options really messages like probably aren't going to get lost and yeah a lot of benefits the save it save the data that we get and then we send it off and we check for viruses and spam because that's actually another really really important component of the emails not to mention that during an interview you want to like narrow down like what are the specific features that you want but um then this was kind of decided as one of the features before like let me go up scroll up to here these are the features we focus on except we don't do authentication but yeah talk to the interviewer about that and check for viruses check for spam and then ship it off into the server and then we've got the receiving flow so we start here load balancer so that no servers are overloaded the have like you know several horizontal servers and these are all going to like check so i guess the policy go down grab it from the bucket i believe or no i'm not sure what this is for actually yeah no it saves it so it takes it here it goes into the servers receives it and then it saves it into the bucket and then we check for mail or we check for spam and things like that and then we confirm and say like i guess we've checked it it's clean and then we can either do real-time servers if the connection exists or do the web server so that's like high level and then there's like the deep level dive stuff so okay which database do we use do we use relational not good for this one because there's a massive amount of writes like 10 again 100,000 queries per second don't want to use relational um that's what that's my thought process but he doesn't even mention that he says that it's just not good because we have a lot of data that doesn't make any sense to me because i don't since winter text emails like a few kilobytes i don't mean i don't i kind of need some explanation as to why they're a few kilobytes because if i type just text like a subject a header i don't see it as a few kilobytes and again we're using aws so we could just like put a link inside i think right i don't know but regardless you know we're not using relational it's just a lot of data we got distributed object storage but like it's really hard to search we also can't mark them as red and then google big table is used by google but not open source and yeah not really anything but basically we just want something that you know goes over these characteristics that can actually maintain the queries store everything into the database the attachments and all of that data models so this one gets kind of interesting because we're talking about cluster keys which i did not even know about this is new to me a cluster key so this is basically when the database basically when the database it sorts the data uh, based off of like some key and it does it for all of the partitions so you can name that and keep it sorted and then you can like start searching stuff but in the case of these emails it helps with timestamps so we can sort stuff based off timestamps and then like pull them and then 
can do the secondary key. Um, I also like was kind of trying to contrast these with secondary keys. I didn't realize these are just for, I guess, for indexes. So it's not actually sorted. Just like tree stuff, I guess. Database tree stuff. And then we got the queries that we want. So we're going to go over each query and like getting all the folders, user ID folder name. Right, just writing through the structure of the database. And then we've got search where we're just kind of using Elasticsearch. I think that's it. Um, also worth mentioning that like not getting email flagged as spam is also a problem. So you have to do all these. You have to have, you have to classify emails. You have to ban the spammers. You've got to handle the feedback. Um, if people are complaining, right, you got to do something about that. Hard bounces, soft bounces, basically. Reduce all of that. Authenticate the emails. Build the reputation. Probably like use a dedicated IP address then classify the emails and yeah so anyways that's emails um and then there's Elasticsearch versus like building your own custom search engine and then we got the follow-up so yeah that's this problem this is a pretty thick one 1600 words on these notes but hey learned a lot and we're gonna be just tagging this up for chapter nine s3 bucket that is going to be that i now be going over s3 like object storage and go for this for like an hour i see how far i can get through this in an hour and then um and then How much do we have on this? Let's see, let's see how many we have. We've got 253. This is actually a really long one too. It's like 30 pages, 36 pages. And yeah, so I probably won't get through it today in this one hour, but we'll just work through it, read it for an hour, and then that'll be that. Um, also, I guess updates on the study plan, right? So I am making my way through here and we are with this right it's Thursday so I'm one day ahead I don't have to do this s3 bucket but why not finish it up so we can go through this and I do a couple of these so that's where we're at with that so I have 30 days and now I think I got less than that actually but might not do probably not going to do stanley chain's book maybe we'll see we'll see maybe for review just on reviewing on problems i've already covered and that is it cool yep so that's the plan that is the plan um realize i need to eat too so probably just call close the stream for now and then come back on and yeah cool thanks for watching